Yo. Yo, Eli, you gotta slide to this party I'm at right now. Like, this John is lit. I'm talking, I'm talking House Party 1, Project X. Matter of fact, Great Gatsby. You can't miss this, bro. All right, this better not be another one of your lame parties. Who's all there? All you know, like, everybody, bro. Yo, was that Diddy I just heard? Hey, bro, shh, shh. I gotta go. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm a huge introvert. I love being at home, and if you couldn't tell by the fact that I make animations on YouTube, I fit straight into the whole YouTube animators being socially awkward stereotype. I mean, I've gotten way better, but at this point it's who I am. It's embedded deep into my soul. Like, you couldn't pay me to want to entertain a pointless conversation with a stranger or to lead a house impromptu. Like, you gotta book me ahead of time, because it takes days for me to mentally prepare to go outside. At this point, I might as well break out the old lawn chair in the newspaper and watch the neighborhood because if I'm being a hundred, I don't have any interest in really going outside for real. Like, of course I wanna travel and experience God's creation, but call me Batman because I'm at least need like six months of mental prep time before traveling. Like there was a point in time where I was outside, I was partying, talking to strangers, genuinely trying to have the early 20s young adult life. And while it helped a little, it low-key made it worse because it made me realize exactly why I did not want to be outside. It was 2020, the world was just starting to recover from what was called the virus. Everything was just starting to reopen up for the first time and one day I'm just lounging around at home and my homie texts me. Yo, you trying to go to a lake party? I'm looking at this text like, uh, nah, not really. Plus I had to work on videos. I was not trying to go to this party, but at the same time, I had never been to an actual party. During high school, it was work, school, and gaming, so I never had the time. And you mean to tell me you really wanted me to ask my African-American mother, could I go out with no adult supervision where there's gonna be drinking and drugs? That's a death sentence on its own. Plus I was socially awkward and I never got invited anyways. So for me to go to this party, I would have been experiencing something I had never experienced before in my life. Suddenly my eyes lit up with the, the feeling of opportunity. I saw something I had never truly experienced. I saw freedom. So I text my homie back, he scoops me and we're on the way to the party. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because like I've said before, I've never been to an actual party. I couldn't even remember the last birthday party I had been to. So meanwhile, in the midst of my nerves, my homie's gassing this party talking about some, this party's gonna be so lit, bro. I'm telling you, I came in here last time, it was turned. I'm gonna have all the ladies all over me. Yeah, all right, bro, we, we gonna see, bro, we gonna see. Come on, you know me, bro, I wouldn't lie. Not to mention, you gonna have the party jumping with all them dance moves. Well, isn't that ironic? I don't like to go outside, but it turns out your boy is an actual okay dancer. Be in the back saying, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Who would have thought? So I decided either we're gonna die from supreme social battery overuse or we're gonna die late. So we get to the party and it looks like your typical party. Women in swimsuits, too bougie to swim, people well, inhaling magic sticks, drinking, and what's a party without guys awkwardly standing around just hoping? that for some reason a girl realizes that he's the man of her dreams and by guys, I mean me because, well, um, it's safe to say I was a little overstimulated. It was so much going on, I was having a sensory overload. My brain could not comprehend everything that was going on right before my eyes. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think. As a guy who came from literally never leaving the house in high school, I didn't even go to a football game, to now being at a full-blown college party, it was new. Eventually the music kicks up. The crowd starts going crazy as everybody forms a circle, there's people dancing. Everyone is caught in the moment. Feelings of euphoria hit the air. Maybe that was contact high. And I'm just taking it all in. Like, you know, I'm doing my little bounce along with the crowd. My friend taps me and is like, yo, hop in the circle. Yo, what? I can't hear you. Hop in the circle. Don't be lame, bro. All my life, I will not let you live this down. Suddenly, I feel this strong gravitational pull. This this grasp gripped the front of my shirt. No, it's pulling me closer to the middle of the circle. I tried to fight it, but it was too strong. As I'm getting pulled through the crowd, I can see who was pulling me closer, and it's bro that was in the middle of the circle. 
So now I'm in the middle of the circle and I'm looking around and everyone has their eyes on me. So I decide it's now or never. I start dancing. And the crowd starts losing it. Everybody's hyping me up. I'm thinking, this is it. This is what it actually feels like to go to a college party. It's the cops! The cops roll up and everybody starts scrambling. It's people getting tickets for having magic sticks, public intoxication. I think I even saw some people getting arrested. I'm in shock because everything that could happen at my first college party quite literally is happening. I eventually find my friends in a crowd of people rushing out of the party and we dip out. We find a parking lot to chillin' and we're just recapping everything that happened when very recklessly, my friend asks, Ayo, hey, it's another party tonight and it's not that far. Are we sliding? Now after what just took place, we literally just got busted by the police. You think I'm about to do a party double header? Now I'm pondering this for a minute because I can't lie, it was low key kind of fun, but at the same time, we literally just got busted by the police. And as you can see, we're black. According to history, our skin color and them don't really get along. So I agreed to go to the second party. I'm not gonna lie, after I got that first hit, I was hooked. I was fiending for more. So we get to this party and uh, I'm seeing a ton of red flags already. The venue was a sketchy area tucked away from the main road. Perfect for offing a scrawny black kid, if you ask me. I'm talking about I get out of the car and I'm expecting to see one of two things. One, a 6'5 dude in a hockey mask with an over-attachment to his mother, or two, a member of the clan telling me to get off his property. It also doesn't help that no one is here. We walk into the party and we're greeted by three girls. I'm not really feeling the vibe, so I take a seat on the couch and start scrolling my weather app because I mean, what else is a socially awkward person supposed to do when you don't have experience talking to girls and you don't drink nor partake in magic sticks? Eventually, people start rolling in and the room's filling up. People are mingling, playing cup pong. I'm still amazed we're gonna be having a slight overdraft on Wednesday and this black girl and her two friends walk in. The girl rushes straight to the bathroom as soon as she walks in. Now, normally this isn't anything to worry about, but what alarmed me was this girl was in the bathroom for a grip. So either this girl's bowels were on their last leg or she was giving herself the meanest pep talk. Suddenly, I'm awestruck by the sound of yelling coming from the back of the house. The yelling works its way up to the front where we can finally make out what they're saying and I hear, why you my man? I don't know what you're talking about. Who's your man? You know who my man is. Don't play dumb. Apparently, these girls were fighting because the host of the party was smashing this girl's boyfriend, which I mean... Don't you think you may be directing your anger towards the wrong person? They go back and forth for a couple more minutes and I can't lie, it sounded like they were coming to an understanding. They were both calming down and the party starts jumping back up. But to my complete disarray. <laughs> this girl decks the host in the face. Me personally, I'm not gonna take that disrespect in my own house. Like, you got home court advantage. How do you lose in your own home? The girl that hosted the party regains her stature and just kinda looks confused. Like she didn't know the reason why she just got hit. Let me tell you, she hits you with the meanest genjutsu, girl. They kick the girl and her friends out of the party. Meanwhile, she's yelling profanities. And I overhear a guy who knows her boyfriend just so happened to let slip that her boyfriend is gang affiliated and after that that was my cue to leave if you thought i was gonna stick around to see what her boyfriend might potentially be bringing to the party you may you are surely mistaken you are surely mistaken me and my homie already knew what time it was it's time to hit the dough <laughs> it's time to hit the dough and all of that really just made me realize i i like being inside <laughs> Yo, today's Bible verse that I have for y'all is Romans 13, 13, which states, let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Basically what that means is for my people, act with some decorum, act like we got some sense, some home training, you know? Don't be out here smacking people at they at they house parties. 
because your boyfriend decided to uh, step out on you, you know? I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna, I'm trolling, but real, real, real talk, let's act with some decorum. Let's, you know, let's act like people of higher stature as we are. Also, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. We, we got a new crib, you know? I know I've been gone for a minute, two months. I've been looking. It's been two months since I uploaded a video. I know, I know. Um, You know, we was in the midst of moving, driving back and forth between cities, looking at cribs, and then just mentally, it was a lot going on, you know? So just physically and mentally, it was a lot going on. Kind of need to step away for a little minute. I still kept, I was I was working behind the scenes though. Also, we've been streaming, I ain't gonna lie. So if you've been missing me that bad, why you ain't pull up to the streams? Cause we, we was we was still consistently streaming this whole two months. So really it ain't no excuse for you to not, you know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for still rocking with your boy to check out this video, you feel me? Um. So yeah, chat, um, Entourage, not chat, Entourage. We got a new crib, we're in a new crib, as y'all can see. We got a different background, we in a different city. Um, also, we went to DreamCon. I don't know if y'all know, I met some of y'all. I ain't gonna lie, everybody that put up on me, I rock with you, you know what I'm saying? It, I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of weird having people actually come up to me and like, be like, yo, I actually rock with your video. It was kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really didn't know how to move because I ain't never had that happen before. Like, I've had friends troll me and be like, yo, is that Eli so far? But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never actually had a demon stranger pull up on me and be like, yo, I like your videos. Like, it was it was weird. I really ain't know how to move. So, yeah, like, um, DreamCon is supposed to be in Houston, you know? Dream Con's supposed to be in Houston. That's and that is low. That's where your boy live now. We we in Houston now, chat. We in Houston. Entourage, we in Houston now. So if any of y'all in, in the Houston area, you know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout. Y'all might see me out here in the streets. Not in the streets, but like y'all might see me out in public, like at Walmart looking looking crazy or something, you know. Um also I'm going to the next Dream Con. So buy y'all tickets now. I don't, I, I want to see y'all now. I want to see y'all at the next Dream Con is going to be here in Houston. So I, I want to see y'all. Buy y'all tickets. The tickets drop August 23rd. Buy them Jones. I'm going to be there. Y'all got my word. I'm going to be there. I want to see y'all. Um, Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, we got two new channels. For those y'all that don't know, we got a reaction channel and a gaming channel. I need to actually upload a video on the gaming channel. Um, but yeah, um, we're not going to talk about that. Um, yeah, so we got two new channels. Tap into the new channels. They're going to be linked down below also. Tap into the Twitch as always, you know what I'm saying? Tap into the Twitch. Um, we closing in on 11,000. I'm just spitballing here on everything just to try to catch up, you know? It's been two months. We, we, we closing in on 11,000. We had 11... We at 10.8 right now. We might be able to hit 11,000 when this video goes. Who knows? Most high willing. Um, you know what I'm saying? All thanks to him, always. All without him, I ain't. I, without him, I ain't able to do none of this. You know? Without him, I ain't able to do none of this, bro. Gotta thank him always, bro. Um, I think that's it. I think I think that's it. You know, I think I'm done yapping. I think I done yap for like maybe two minutes this video probably gonna look like 10 minutes when really it's just it really is like a seven minute video in two minutes it's just me yapping you know four and five you um but never met the other so yeah chat i keep saying chat i'm i'm so used to being on stream so yeah um i highlight at y'all in the next video the next video isn't gonna be a story time well, it's not gonna be my story time, but it the next video that comes out is gonna be something that I'm proud to work on. Um, it's gonna be something different. I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited for it, but I'm scared of it at the same time. It's something new that I've never done. So um Yeah, bruh. Y'all be on the lookout for that. And uh I'm out, bruh. <laughs>